Hello, my dear NEET warriors. If you're preparing in the flow for NEET examination, it's a good thing. But also, you need to take a pause and really understand whether the chapters which you are doing are worth it. And suddenly, you should not regret later that I don't have time for the heavy weightage or very, very big chapters. So that is the reason why I'm making this video well in advance. Because now you really have the time. And I'm just asking you, give me 10 minutes and I will give you a detailed analysis with historical data and the future predictions. So this is one of the most important videos and most detailed videos in a very short amount of time. This is your Captain Strius and I'm going to help you out with this. So before going ahead, let me also tell you that you need to know how to use the weightage analysis. Like for example, obviously high weightage is important. But okay, if it is important, what should I do with it? You cannot afford to skip it and see whether you have already done it or not. Maybe chapter number 5 is important and maybe you have done it already. Maybe chapter number 7, which is very high weightage, maybe you are not planning to do it right now or maybe you are planning to do it uh, sometime in the end. That is bad. You should finish it then and there itself. That means there is a time frame for that. The time frame is October to November. Maximum by October to November, you should be done with all the high weightage topics which I am going to give you. Okay, for all the three subjects, physics, chemistry and biology, I am going to give you. If there is a low weightage topic, it is independent. Now, imagine basic maths is also or vectors is low weightage, but it is not independent. It is a dependent one because without basic maths and vectors, you cannot solve most of the physics chapters, right? So that is why you cannot skip them. You have to do it even though it is low weightage. But other things which are low weightage, you can afford to skip them. But after October or November, by December at least, try to finish it. Okay, few topics here and there by January, it's okay. But keep a deadline of December in any case so that you can do at least two revisions. And I am not asking you to leave any chapter now because you do not know what might happen in NEET 2026. It's a big risk if you will take. Also, you have good enough time. It's not like three months or four months are there. So even if you are starting your preparation absolutely from zero and you have no idea of need, still I would suggest you can complete the entire syllabus without keeping in mind I have to leave anything. Okay, so don't worry about it. Shreya sir is going to help you because I have been helping, guiding, mentoring kids for the past 13 years. I did my B.Tech from NIT Nagpur, research from IIT Bombay and I have mentored and guided and taught thousands of kids who are now in the top tier colleges. So if you are seeing me, for the very first time or for probably hardly any times, mostly have not yet subscribed. So please subscribe and also like the video so that YouTube understands that you are interested in it and it will not show you distracting videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Let's start with the analysis subject by subject with physics first. Okay, physics was difficult. More numerical questions were there and the numerical questions were not just calculative but also conceptual. Sometimes multiple chapters, multiple concepts were needed. If you just knew the formula, it is not enough. Also, the theoretical based questions were less, statement based questions were more. If you did not manage your time and if your basics fundamentals were not clear, people would have struggled in this particular paper, as you know. If you are a dropper, you already have faced it. The distribution is fairly even with certain chapters like gravitation, work power energy, laws of motion, alternating current, also electrostatics, semiconductors and current electricity and oscillations given a fair bit of you know weightage including units and dimensions so they were slightly asked on the higher side the rest of the topics were on the lower side if a student would have done these topics properly they would have definitely got a good score talking about historical data and what you should expect and what you should not skip versus what you can skip units and dimensions please do it motion in a straight line motion in a plane laws of motion even though some chapters are low weightage, please do not skip them because you will need it for every other chapter, okay? Till laws of motion at least. <laughs> Rotational motion, although it is medium weightage, you can skip if you are not understanding it initially. The basic terms at least you should know. Gravitation, do not skip, all right? Rest of the chapters are low weightage. Oscillations is fair bit of weightage, medium weightage, I can say. Then electric charges, Gauss law, capacitance potential very important unit do not skip it it takes good amount of time current electricity also very important 
then moving charges magnetism medium weightage em wave small chapter but gives you good sure shot questions not very difficult then ray optics also important do not skip it dual nature and atoms also important and semiconductors experimental skills barely asked so even if you do not do it now it's okay so did you understand what is important and you should do whatever names i took okay please note them down and don't worry i will share this pdf uh, you know shortly in the description box or on telegram all right having said this let's go to chemistry chemistry was again moderate but there is no guarantee it will remain the same next year it could be slightly more difficult also so let's be prepared in the worst case for a difficult paper see in inorgan inorganic the paper was mostly from ncrt uh, organic the questions were not direct but conceptual you needed understanding of the mechanisms reagents everything physical chemistry was numerical mostly and also some concepts were involved so calculations tables are a must not just in physics but also physical chemistry talking about the weightage it was fairly divided uh, very nicely organic compounds organic compounds with oxygen then your coordination d and f block were high weightage even solutions and equilibrium decently asked all right so these were the most important units in chemistry for this year but if you see the historical trends what is it say chemical bonding molecular structure is very important even chemical kinetics coordination compounds also you cannot skip all of this d and f block medium weightage some basics concepts although it is low weightage please do it because you need it for every other chapter thermo you can do it because it will be done in physics also so it's like a even though it is low weightage you can do it very easily anyways then aldehydes ketones also good weightage also amines is medium weightage for sure you will get two questions that's what you can see and not very big chapter right so this is also important alcohol phenols again medium weightage you can probably keep it uh, for later times but try to do it by october november period then going ahead electrochemistry medium weightage structure of atom medium weightage hydrocarbons also medium to high weightage all right so other chapters in low weightage and some chapters like solid state etc are deleted now from the syllabus so no point talking about it okay other chapters over here also are deleted so i'm not putting the data so i hope it is clear in chemistry what exactly you should do and what you can skip it or what you can keep it for later time now talking about biology biology paper people expect it to be direct very easy but biology paper itself took time because although the questions were mainly from ncrt there were a lot of application based questions and it's not that everything was directly from ncrt there were some things which you needed to go beyond ncrt you need to push your limits okay so you need to know a lot of stuff properly you cannot just be completely dependent on ncrt back exercise exemplar in text questions or pyqs you need to use newer material fresh material which pushes your limits okay a lot of application based statement based questions definitely was there so moderate to difficulty level and you can see reproduction human physiology also diversity in living world biology in human welfare all these were major major units if you ask me what are the major units which you should do right now on high priority without keeping it for november plus period molecular basis of inheritance and principles of inheritance and variation this unit please do it human reproduction also very important biotechnology a lot of people keep it for the end or skip it please do not do that complete it right away right now biomolecules also a good chapter please do it then directly go for cell cycle and cell division very very important biodiversity suddenly they can ask some more questions sometimes no questions so it is uh, here and there if you have time you can complete it right now all right then cell the unit of life one of the first few chapters which you should do please complete this chapter all right then a structural organization in uh, animals complete this chapter anatomy of flowering plants medium weightage then plant growth and other chapters are medium weightage organisms and population again good weightage reproductive health okay sexual reproduction in flowering plants please do it okay other chapters are low weightage as you can see over here then locomotion and movement and all these chapters are normal weightage plant kingdom suddenly they can ask more questions so please do it sometimes they might ask barely a question so you never know so better to complete it so other chapters some of them are probably deleted or you know not needed or not asked at all right so these were the weightages of all the three subjects 
Now, as you are preparing, it's very important for you to know what the actual competition is. See, last year, the students will be different. This year, few students will repeat, but many new students will also join. Okay. So, you should know how the students are preparing. That's why there is a MVSAT examination. It's a scholarship test for all of you. It's absolutely free of cost. You have to give it offline. In most of the centers around you, it is there. But sir, the center is far. Just see if you can arrange some transportation. Worst case, we'll try to keep it online. But for now, the offline dates for this scholarship test is 4th, 5th, 11th and 12th October. Telling you in advance so that you can mentally be prepared because this is one of the biggest tests where you can truly understand where you stand. More than 2-3 lakh people are going to write this test. Yep. So when so many students who are serious are going to write, you know where to stand. And this will give you a beautiful analysis of your concepts, practice level, chapter by chapter analysis, where you are versus where the high scorer is. And it will tell you what kind of a learner are you, visual, audial, everything. And this analysis helps you better prepare in advance much before the NEET 2026 or 2027 examination. This is for all the students, 8, 9, 10th, 11th, 12th and even dropper. But don't worry, if you select 11th grade, then you will be competing with 11th kids. If you select 12th grade, competing with that particular group. And if you select dropper, you will be competing with dropper students. Neat paper is separate, JE paper is separate. So don't worry about it. Neat students will get 22 questions of physics, 22 of chemistry, 46 of biology, maximum 360 marks with negative 1 for incorrect and positive 4 just like the neat pattern. Now it is very important that this paper be attempted on time and you register for it. The link is there in the description box. Please note these dates and you not only get to know where you stand, there are prizes, scholarships also to be won. Uh, there is a pool of 150 crores worth of scholarship and 2 crores worth of cash rewards, prizes, hampers and so many other things. So you definitely don't want to miss this examination. The link is there in the description box of this particular video. Okay, it's there in the comments or in the pinned messages. All right. So I hope you found this video very informative. Thank you for liking. And thank you for subscribing. Share it with your friends and do register for MVSAT. This is your Captain Slayer signing off. Hasta la vista.